Hi everybody and welcome to yet another class with uh, Kiran and the class is for vocabulary building and today I'm going to be talking about words to describe hair while you're writing be it a story essay or article are you looking for the perfect words to describe your characters or your protagonist's hair with so many textures, styles, lens, colors, it can get a little difficult to find the right terms and you may not be doing justice to it. And I often talk about imagery and imagery means conjuring up the image in your mind and that happens with the use of the right effective words. So let's begin. Words to describe hair texture, that is how the hair looks and feels. The words are body, fuzzy, silky, bouncy, glossy, sleek. Brittle, bristly, lank, limp, smooth, soft, bushy, listless, sticky, coarse, luxuriant or luxurious, stiff, straight, crinkly, delicate, medium, straw-like, downy, nappy, supple, fine, hair with no body, touchable, flat, puffy, velvety, fluffy, rough, wavy, frizzy, satiny or wiry. Now coming to describing hair thickness or hair density. You could say the hair is lush, stringy, voluminous, scraggly, thick, wispy, sparse, thin or woolly. Nowadays everybody seems to be going to the salon to get their hair styled or get their hair cut and um, there are so many different styles and it is critical in describing the appearance of a character. Be it fiction or non-fiction. So the different styles are afro, asymmetrical, blunt, a-line, bangs, bob, angled, beehive, bouffant, bowl cut, flyaway, shag, braided, French braids, French twist, shaved, braids, side part, brushed back, fringe, slick down, bun, jerry curl, spiked, buzzed, kinked, spiky, center part, layered, spirals, chignon, long layers, springy, chopped, loose, stacked, choppy, military cut, straightened, clipped, mohawk, swept back, coils, mule, swept to the side, comb over, natural, swept up, corkscrew curls, page boy, teased, corn rose, parted, top knot, Crew cut, pigtails, trimmed, curled, pin curls, twisted, dreadlocks, pixie, undercut, ducktail, plated, up, emo, pompadour, up to, extensions, ponytail, waterfall braids, face framing, rasta, weave, feathered, wrap tail, wedge, fishtail braid, rattled, wings, flat topped, ringlets, and wrapped. Now coming to the length of your hair, because lengths can vary greatly. So how about uh, getting to the right word? Hair could be cascading, chin length, close cropped, cropped, medium length, shoulder length, ear length, mid back length, tailbone length, flowing, neck length, trailing, long, short or waist length. Now we come to hair colors or tints. There are so many hair colors and different tones. Some are natural, some are not. So it is really important to choose the right descriptive word. The words are ash brown, flaxen, platinum, auburn, ginger, purple, black, golden blonde, rainbow, bleached blonde, gray, raven, blonde, green, red, blue, honey, salt and pepper, bluish, jet black, silver, Bottle blonde, light, strawberry blonde, brown, mousy, streaked, brunette, multicolored, sun kissed, burgundy, natural blonde, sun streaked, burnished, oil slick, wheat blonde, chestnut, ombre, white, coppery, peroxide blonde, yellow, dark, pink, and yellowing. And then we go in for hair treatments too. So, which are the words for treated hair? which means people have gone through a treatment to alter the appearance of their hair. The hair could be bleached, conditioned, highlighted, body wave, deep conditioned, 
highlights, brassy, dyed, lowlights, colored, frosted, permed, relaxed, smoothing or tinted. And then there are people who have messy hair. They haven't looked after it. Lack of care, general unruliness or you were engaged in some activity that made it so messy. So how to describe the exact state of messy hair? Bad hair day, shaggy, unmanageable, bedhead, snarled, unruly, clumpy, tangled, unstyled, disarrayed, doozled, untamed, disheveled, toe-headed, untidy, drooping, uncombed, wind-blown, knotted, uncontrollable, wind-swept, matted, unkept, and overgrown. And then, in sharp contrast, you have the neatly styled hair. People take great pains to keep their hair in proper place. So the hair could be blown out, done, tamed, coiffed, neat, tidy, coiffured, runaway ready, and well-groomed. Some more adjectives to describe the appearance of their hair. They don't come in the categories that I've spoken of before, but you could say hair is beautiful, clean, dirty, brushed, combed, dripping, classy, damp, dull, elegant, luscious, squeaky clean, enviable, lustrous, stylish, fashionable, nourished, sweaty, filthy, shiny, trendy, gorgeous, singed, vibrant, greasy, slick, voluminous, healthy, soaked, or wet. And then, let's not deny there are people with hair problems. There are so many different hair problems. Now, if your character does have a visible issue with his or her hair, you must choose the right word to describe it. It could be alopecia, shedding, bald, split ends, balding, thinning, bald patch, thin on top, broken, widow's peak, damaged, dandruff, dry, flaky, fried, hair loss, lice, needs a touch-up, nicks, oily, overprocessed, pattern baldness, receding, roots are showing and uh, well, I hope that takes care of all the words you could possibly use to give me an exact description of the hair of your character and how would you like to describe my hair today? <laughs> do let me know. Uh, leave a comment in the comment box. Please press the like button. I hope you've subscribed to my channel. Let me know what are the other things you would like me to take up, the topics. And uh, stay tuned until my next episode. This is Kiran signing off. Bye.